What is up people, Vicky from the Element on back with another video and I've got to tell this, I hate traveling by flights. I face all sorts of problems from start to finish every time. Right from entering the airport where the security checks as if I brought some grenade and guns to the flight delays I have to deal with and finally the air hostess nudging me to put my phone in flight mode. But recently when I was traveling, I got a bit curious. Why? Why should you put your phones on flight mode while traveling? I'm sure most of you would have a rough idea on that because if you don't put your uh, phones on flight mode, you might face some problems with the flight. Uh, you don't know what the problem is, but something bad is gonna happen, right? Well, let me clear that up now. The problem is not for the flight, but for the pilot who is driving the flight. See, once the flight takes off from the ground, it's like a bird flying with eyes closed. It doesn't know where it's going unless it is guided by the ground control tower which is sending instructions in the form of radio frequencies. If the flight doesn't receive any instruction, it doesn't know what's the weather up there, uh, is there any other flights passing by or even if it's going in the right direction. So the ground control tower plays a very important role in guiding the flight. The pilot picks his or her earphones and listens to what the person in ground control is saying and this communication is very, very weak. The amplifier in the flight tries to amplify those weak RF signals and send it to your pilot's earphones. Now, your smartphones are way more powerful than the receivers of the flight and the signals received by your smartphone are way more powerful than the signals received by the flight's receiver. So, if your smartphones are not in flight mode and if it's flying, then it constantly tries to pick up signals from the nearest cell tower in the ground and this process this process of hunting the signals will cause a screeching sound in your pilot's earphones because the high power signal of your smartphone tries to suppress the low power signal that are being received by the flight. Just tell me how annoying it will be if I bring a metal plate near your ears and start scratching it with a nail. Quite annoying, right? That's how our dear pilot would feel if you don't put your phones on flight mode. Uh, you might be wondering how one small cell phone could cause so much disturbance. It doesn't, not one phone, but if all the 150 passengers of the flight think the same way and don't put their phones on flight mode, then imagine how strong the cumulative signals magnitude could be and how bad the pilot might get annoyed. Putting your phones on flight mode might help both the pilot and you as well. Up to 5000 feet from ground, your phone continuously receives signal from the cell tower. So if you put your phones on flight mode, your pilot might not get disturbed by the noise. But after 5000 feet, your phone stops receiving signal. But the GSM chip inside the phone still continuously tries to pick up signal from the nearest cell tower because it doesn't know you are above 5000 feet, right? So this will unwantedly drain your phone's battery life for nothing. So that is why it is advised to put your phones on flight mode while flying. Hope you got something out of this video and if you did then let me know with a like to this video. Thank you so much for watching.